What's up, everybody? It's John. John Sports Arts coming at you with a brand new video. How's everyone doing today? Hey, it's Starback Thursday time, and we are going to dive back into our archives to an iconic hockey set from Opeachy. It's a 1985-86 Opeachy hockey card set, full set, mint condition. And uh, this is actually the set and uh, major card out of this set that got me back into the hobby and also got this YouTube channel kind of going a few months after that. Uh, a little backstory uh, with this set. Um, my, uh, my my parents, my dad in particular, you know, wanted me to clean out our attic, you know, third floor kind of attic uh, space. We had a lot of storage. All my cards were up there. And I um, said, so you got to get the Lemieux and the set out first and then get the rest of the stuff out. And uh, you've seen certain things here on the, on the channel. And so I went up there and I was just overwhelmed with the amount of, I should have actually videoed it, but um, I wasn't even thinking about having a YouTube channel at that point in time. So we found the set, and uh, here's the original box for it, by the way. Can you believe this? We bought this for $35. My dad bought this. He regrets not buying more. You can see it was from a, an LCS here in Pittsburgh called Collector's World. This is uh, Banksville Road that's out in Mount Lebanon, which is a suburb south of the city where I grew up uh, part of my life in. But you can see here, here is the set, 35 bucks, the original box. So it's sitting in there and, uh, in just prime mint condition. And um, it had never been opened. We didn't even go through it when we actually bought this. We may have pulled out the Lemieux just to look at it for a split second and put it back in. Boxed it back, you know, you know, sealed that back up, put that bad boy away. And then these odd years later, um, we pulled it out and it got me back into the hobby, so to speak. Originally, I wasn't even thinking about that. And then as time went on over the next few months, after finding the set, we... Um, we, uh, you know, I started this channel back up. So we're gonna take a look at the set. A little quick little notes about this. Sorry, we're, you know, rambling on here, but I kind of want to give a backstory to this and give a little bit of detail on how valuable the set is. Um, you can buy a wax box of these. They're not available on Baseball Card Exchange, by the way. Uh, on eBay, there's one for listed for nine thousand five hundred dollars, and there's one that's listed for fifteen thousand dollars. And I'll explain to you why in a second, because there are major, major cards in here. You have the Mary Lemieux rookie card as a PSA runs between nine hundred or a thousand dollars. A PSA ten, that's a nine. A ten is worth about thirty grand. Yeah, can you believe that? Uh, Wayne Gretzky's card in here is worth a whopping eighty bucks as a PSA nine, but two thousand two hundred fifty dollars if you bump it up to a ten. The box bottom of one of these wax boxes of Opeachy, if you get a Lemieux on there, then uh, and you actually get that card graded. Um, the nine is worth $1,250 and the 10 is worth $6,500. That is why there's one wax box on eBay listed for 15 grand because Lemieux is on the box bottom. So can you imagine that you have the money, go spend it, buy this. It's a pretty valuable set aside from the, um, uh, yeah, I'm talking modern cards here. Uh, the, the Gretzky rookie, the rookie year of, of tops and a peachy is very valuable too, extremely valuable. Um, uh, but this is another one. So other key cards in there, Lanny McDonald. Uh, PSA uh, says as a 10 worth 175 bucks. Steve Eiserman, $200. A PSA 10, Ray Bork, 125. Paul Coffey, 125. Mike Bossy, 175. Al McGinnis, rookie card, $550. There's all these Gretzky leader cards in here, too. They range from value to 550, 475, 200, and $550 for those cards. As a PSA 10, there's a Lemieux uh, leader's card listed for $575. The set sells. For anywhere between $1,500 $2,000. And uh, we, I had it up for sale for like a split second at one point. And I pulled it down after thinking about it. This is last year. I decided I'm not selling this thing. This is an iconic set. It's historic. It's part of my uh, collecting history and my youth. And uh, I'm going to keep this. Key rookie cards in this set. Lemieux, McGinnis, Kevin Deneen, um, Dave Ellett. Uh, who else? Kelly Rudy, L.I. Frady, Kurt, Kurt uh, Muller. New Jersey Devils uh, superstar, Thomas Senstra and Peter Zezel. And then there's also uh, Ed Olchek has a rookie card in here. There might be a few other ones. Pelly Lindbergh's memorial card. Pelly Lindbergh was a goaltender for the Philadelphia Flyers who tragically passed away in, I believe, a car accident. So there's like a memorial card for him in here. He was a sensational goal. I actually got to see him uh, play against our Penguins. And I think we scorched him 7-2 to or something, 8-2. to two. But just to you know remember that part of history that I actually saw that goaltender play um it's just incredible to think about that and to see that so i was a big hockey fan back in the day we don't do hockey cards very much on this channel so i figured let's let's dive into this set and show everybody um these cards um 
Like I said, they're in prime condition, the corners of these things. Here's the Lady McDonald's, card number one. Uh, we're just going to go through these and call it the big names. It's one of the Sutter brothers, Brennan Bloom, Joey Mullen, Rod Langway was a really stand-up defenseman. There's a missing card here. It's card number nine. It's Lemieux's rookie. We're going to show it to you at the end. Um, so here's the back of these cards. So we're going to kind of flip this around so you can see. This is what they look like. These are beautiful. Now, the deal with Apici is that they um, their their cutting process sucks. <laughs> So you're gonna see like you can't really probably maybe you can see it if you're watching this on a, on a larger screen um, But you're gonna see some of these have really really rough edges uh, Some people like that appeal, but when you're grading these things out they tend to get knocked down because of The cutting process. I don't know why their their cards are cut so rough, but they are um, It can definitely affect the grading So if you have any of these kind of cards like this and you're gonna send them in That's one of the things you want to look for obviously the same thing in you know, the corners and whatever in the surface But the the really the cut is 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 got to be key. There's Dino Cicerelli Skipped over a couple guys there. Andy Moog Bobby Nystrom, Dave Babich uh, Phenomenal defenseman for the Winnipeg Jets for years. There's Thomas uh, Graden Mike Fellino, Mike Fellino, great player for the Buffalo Sabres. Merrick Goslin, Golden over there. Look at that. You know what team that is? Quebec Nordiques Gotta bring them back Okay, let's keep going here. It's a very short set. I didn't. I think there's like 264 cards in this set, somewhere around there. Here's Peter Zezel's rookie card. Look at that mullet. <laughs> Nick Fatiu, Dennis Potvin, Bobby Carpenter, Murray Bannerman, goaltender for the Blackhawks. Got Gordy Roberts there. There's the Iserman. That's a great card. Centering looks really good. It's a little bit off, but just a great card, though. Tereskowski, and then when they trade them, they didn't have a trade set, so they put this on their now in Pittsburgh. You're going to see other ones that might say retired, uh, whatnot. Uh, Peter Stasny, one of the Stasny brothers, used to love them flying on the ice. For the Nordiques, there's Kevin Deneen, Mark Howell, Gordy's son, Glenn Chico Resch, Danny Gare, Dougie Bodger. What else we got here? Mel Bridgman, John Tonelli. These are where's Ray Bork. Hall of Famer right there, Sylvain Turgeon, Mark Johnson, one of the heroes from the uh, 1980 USA ice hockey team, Dougie Wilson, Doug Wilson, great standout defenseman for the Chicago Blackhawks for a longest time, Mike Gartner, Chris Chelios, I don't know what year that one is, we'll, look, we'll flip it, maybe we can check, Brian Bellows, another standout player, almost, um, could have been a pitcher or a penguin. We trade away our number one draft pick to the to the Minnesota North Stars. That's who this is. You know them now as the Dallas Stars. Uh, but uh, we trade away our number one draft pick. I think they were kind of setting themselves up so they could get Lemieux. But Bellows could have been um, possibly on the team too. Mike Krusinowski. You can never pronounce his name right. Barry Peterson. Pierre LaRouche. Um, let's see. Chelly's second year card for him. Okay. Reed Larson, Pat Verbeek, his New Jersey Devils. They were like second or third year of the, in the league at that point. Randy Carlisle, Brian Trottier, great player for the Islanders forever. Scott Stevens, a standout defensive for the Capitals. Your Phil Housley, great um, player for the Sabres. Rick Middleton, near the end. I don't know if that was near the end of his career for the Bruins. Mark Pavlich, another, uh, I think, hero from the 1980 USA Cup team. Is it 80? I believe that's the year, right? Where we beat the, we beat the uh, Russian team. Stan Smeal, Vancouver Canucks. Look at those flying V uniforms. Those are awesome. I actually have one of these. I, I bought a couple uniforms when I, was a, when I was a youngster. It was not like it is now. You go online and just purchase stuff. You had to go directly to the team. So... We got one directly from the Vancouver Canucks. It was like a birthday gift for me. Got another one for the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, had David Christian's number on the back. He's number 13 when he was on the on the Jets at that point. He was one of my favorite players. John Grodnick, by the way. Uh, Brad Marsh. And <clears throat> had the Penguins. But you had to go directly to the teams to order these. They did not. Um, you could not go online. There was no internet at this point. So it's a long time ago. So Anton Stasny, one of, you know, one of these Stasny brothers. The Gilmore, it's a second year card for him. These are great cards. You see the logo up here. The shots, you know, typical hockey shots at the time. We didn't have the technology back then. And the player name, position.
Very simple. Backs we saw. Nice cards. Keith Acton. Patrick Flatley. There's Kurt Muller's rookie card for the Devils. Charlie Simmer was on the Kings for like the longest time. Eddie Olchek. I believe he's an analyst now for um, NHL Network. He was a coach for the longest time. Paul Coffey. This card's pretty good centering. Look at that. Pretty good, but not a 10, in my opinion. Probably a 9. Tens are super hard to get. Mike Leute, great goaltender for the Blues here on the on the um, Whalers. Hartford Whalers. We talk about them sometime here on the channel. They are now with the Carolina um, Hurricanes. This guy retired here. Dave Maloney, Marcel Dion, great player for the Kings. But yeah, miss the Whalers, miss the Nordiques. Need to bring them back. Tim Kerr, Kevin Mora, another one from the uh, USA team. Don Maloney, Dave's brother. Joe Sorella, another great defense. With Dave Christian, I was just talking about. Long time Winnipeg Jets. There he is with the Washington Capitals. Daryl Sutter on the Sutter Brothers. Kelly Kissio, decent player for the Red Wings. Mats Naslin, good player over there for the Canadiens. Tom Barrasso there on the Buffalo Sabres. You know him also from the Penguins. Great goalie. I've heard rumors that his personality isn't so hot. <laughs> That's just from talking to people in the hockey world. Bernie Federko, Joel Quinville, Ricky Vive, Brent Sutter, Wayne Babich is now on the Nordiques. So they didn't have the trade set, but look, they put the Nordiques logo up there, but he, they have still have the old photo there. In the Penguins uniform. Uh, it's How Dale Howard, Chuck, great player for the Winnipeg Jets. Here's the Pelly Lindbergh Memorial card. Very sad story. He was going to be one of the greats. He would have been up there, I think, with uh, with the Drydens of, of the world in the goaltending uh, uh, category there. But uh, unfortunately, he had that horrible accident. So, Dennis Marouk, Bob Murray, Tom Fergus, Patrick Sundstrom, Ronnie Duguay, Ron Duguay there in the Red Wings, New York Ranger and Pittsburgh Penguin. He has that flowing hair. He's a flyer on the ice. Um, decent points. Greg Malone, Morris Lukowicz, Tom Winnipeg Jets, Thomas Sandstrom. That's a rookie card, right? For him, Kelly Rudy, rookie card there, goaltender for the New York Islanders. Looks so young. These guys. Now, if you like hockey, you'd write you and you know your history, you know these players. And these, this is a great year for rookies, a great rookie class. We used to go to the Penguin games, we had season tickets, so I could see all these guys play. Let me just see Morse Luke Witches. I'm going to flip the page. There are two Morse Luke Witches. Oh, no. I saw them through the thing. We're missing. <laughs> I I messed up there. See, it doesn't look like it's right there, but it's actually, this is the Gretzky, where the Gretzky card is. So we're going to see Morse Luke Witch twice. They pull in. They pull in. Mike Bossy. Well, center. Brian Sutter. Another Sutter brother. They're on the Blues. Look at that Blues jersey. I don't think they use that. Maybe they do use that as a throwback. Pat Reagan there on the Boston Bruins. But look at that. I don't think they oh, they put it up with them really high. Now with the Bruins. It's kind of hidden there. Pat LaFontaine. The great player. Ronnie Francis. Very young Ron Francis. Got him in a trade with the Whalers. Changed our, changed our uh, whole... Uh, team history. We got him in a trade and um, ended up going to the Cup two years in a row. Uh, let's see here. Don Beaupre, great goaltender there. David Enderchuk, Ed Beers. Let's speed this up a little bit. It's a short set. I'm just talking so much. It's great to really look at these closely. Larry Robinson, these have been open. This is probably the third time they've been touched. Um... Michel Goulet. So I'm kind of soaking this all in. Tony Tanti, look at that flying V. Vancouver Canucks. Yari Curry. And you know, hockey is, you know, became huge. I mean, it was it was obviously popular, but it was still, you know, not like you I don't think we would see these uh game of the week games. 
nationally televised at this point. Not yet. I think Lemieux kind of broke that. Gretzky was there happening too. Um, he'd already been in the league for a while because he came in, um, what, 79? But also played the World Hockey Association too, I believe. I want to say on Indianapolis. Ron Flockhart, Glenn Anderson, another great player there for the Oilers. They had a checklist in there too. Mo LeMay. Mark Messier, look at that. Look at young Mark Messier there, great card. Dan Quinn. Dale Hunter, very solid player there for a long time. Richard Broder, great goaltender. Bobby Smith, another great player. Ron Greshner. Don Edwards, decent goalie. Denny Heron, Dennis Heron, good goalie. Dave Ellett, there's a rookie card for him. Did I miss any? Might have. Charlie Huddy, good defenseman. Brian Mullen, I believe that's Joey's brother. Mario Marwa, Mario Marwa, Marwa. I remember him too. He's kind of like you know middle of the road guy. Rob Ramage, good defenseman. Thomas Steen. Grant Fuhrer, great goaltender. I mean, unbelievable. I believe he's in the Hall of Fame. He should be. I don't know the Hockey Hall of Fame guys off the top of my head. I know a couple. I'm sure he is. Awesome goaltender for years and years for the Oilers. It's Rich Sutter, another Sutter brother. Ally Afraidy, rookie card. There were the Maple Leafs. I believe one of them playing the Capitals, right? Am I correct saying that? Randy Hillier. Pierre Mondou. Okay, we're getting near the end here. Then we'll show the slab cards for the two that you saw missing there. Tom Curvers. Greg Mellon. Was on the Penguins too for a long while. Actually, probably three years, four years. And then he shipped out to the Hartford Whalers, I believe, and then now uh, to the Blues. I don't know if he was anywhere in between. We'll see if we can look. Um... Penguins, Whalers, Blues. So there you go. Brian Hayward, another good good goalie for the uh, Winnipeg Jets. Dwayne Sutter, another Sutter brother, Cam Neely. Now that name, this card's kind of flopping out of here. You can see a little bit of the rough edge there. Hold on. Um, yeah, you see what's kind of... You see the, the ridges going up and down? That's the, what I'm talking about, the rough cut. Okay, back in focus. Doug Wickenheiser. Guy Carboneau. Doug Sullivan, Lee Foligno, Larry Murphy, here's Al McGinnis. They say this is a rookie. Let's check. I didn't think it was. It is not a rookie card. Why would they say that as a rookie card? See that they played in the Flames. Rookie year was 81-82. So that's a typo on PSA's list. I thought that was weird. And why is that card worth so much? And I looked when I was putting this together. I'm like, this isn't a rookie card. So Al McGinnis, not a rookie card. But yeah, it's listed as PSA as one. So they definitely need to get their get their act together with that, because that's not right. Because people will think it is and not look. If you don't know these cards, send it in. Next thing you know, you're like getting it back and you're like, it's not worth that much. I just had it wrong. Okay, John Shabbat, Mary Tremblay. They also did some painting work. You can see there on Dan Bouchard. Uh, they used to paint these. They didn't have the uh, the graphic capability at this point, not yet. Borea Salming, Aaron Broughton, good goal, good uh, player there for the for the uh, Devils. Doug Shedden, Lori Boschman. Okay, if you want to pay, okay, we're almost near the end here, folks. Pierre Turnbull. All right, here are the Gretzky cards that got to hold a lot of value too. The center on these are actually pretty good. Um, they were in a pile to set in a PSA and I'm not doing it because I was worried once we got the back to Lemieux, um, I was worried they might like 
knock these down and what's the point of sending them in if we can't get you know high grades on them for something like this so you know what i mean so but uh, they're the leaders there and, they, and i also forgot to show you that these are also english and french since they're opichi and canadian jerry curry uh there's a lemieux one off center nothing would send in there's tom barrasso for the goaltender um um what's this one for goalie uh, uh, goals against average and then save percentage leaders check out that mask that's cool things were way different back then you want to talk about even more different is when we if we dive into one of our 70s sets which we have so let me show you these two slabs as we flip these back and um go to the beginning here i'm glad i was able to share this with you but let's show you let me show you these slabs here's the um here is the uh the gretzky so this is before i knew about you know um, all the ins and outs, 100% about, I mean, I knew the general basics, we need great cards, but, um, you know, since I've been doing this a while now with this channel, I've definitely learned so much. I mean, like, I never would have sent this card in based on, um, looking at it now. You can see the rough edge down there, it's off center, it's in prime shape, they broke it down here, centering seven, edges eight and a half, corners nine, surface nine, so maybe they didn't, like, didn't judge the the cut on this um but the the corners i mean the edges should be really or maybe that is what they mean edges so these are here so eight and a half it's kind of high so maybe they, they did me a favor here's the back of this card look at that so i was right indianapolis where he started out in 78 79 uh then he then the uh, oilers um uh the, the oilers, i don't know if indianapolis went to the edmonton or how this all went about i had to look in the history of that um, there you go. Was it trade? I think the Orioles were part of the World Hockey Association as well. And they, then they merged. A bunch of teams came over. And they merged. And that, that league went away. Do you want to talk about valuable cards too? Um, the uh, World Hockey Association cards. Super valuable. Here's our Lemieux. It's a nine. So you know, this card's worth 900,000 uh, bucks. It's a really great card. The centering is just a little off. What did they give it on here? Centering eight and a half. Edges nine. Corners nine. Service nine and a half. So, I mean, this is a prime card. This one was cut really nice. There's no, I don't believe there's any issues with the cut on this. Uh, and here's the back. So you can see. This is just a great, great um, set. Awesome cards. I'm glad I was able to share, share this with you, like I said. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Our uh, Throwback Thursday, diving back in the archives here. We got a lot of these. So I want to change this up since we've been doing baseball so much. I had to figure out how to do hockey. This is a great set to show you guys. But we have a lot of baseball sets to get to. And I'll be showing um, on these Throwback Thursdays. And uh, so collating those right now. And some hockey sets. And football too. So you don't want to stick around for those in the coming months. Um, I'll talk about them before the videos pop up. But uh, there you go, guys. That is a look at the 1985-86 Opeachy hockey set from our archives on this Throwback Thursday. Like I said, I hope you enjoy this. Put your comments down below. Um, let me know what you think of this set, these cards. I love them. If you're a collector, you have to appreciate this. There's no doubt about that. Even if you don't like hockey, uh, you have to appreciate this set for what it is, which is extremely, extremely historic and iconic. And... Um, and yes, yeah, so, and if you are just, you know, just a person in the cards, you should, you should really take a look at this. This has very, been very, very fun to share with you guys. Hey, if you're not subscribed, like you see here too, put that, uh, hit that subscribe button right below there. And what else can I say? Like I said, comment below, give this video a thumbs up. And what else can I tell you? Share this video with your friends, family, loved ones. eBay link is down below in the description for our store. Sorry about the handheld thing here, guys. I'm trying to figure out what to do with trying to you know show these sets this way it's kind of hard i need maybe a handheld thing to stick this on as we slowly grow this channel i should start getting getting with it with the um with the uh, hardware side of things here <laughs> maybe it's a little bit easier for you guys to watch anyway that's it for today folks hey more videos in the way we've got some cool stuff coming up too uh hopefully we'll have tops up chrome update i've been searching around for that it's not hit the shell some other youtubers have found that uh, hopefully we'll have that it's coming up for you shortly, but we got some really cool killer things coming up in the next few days So you want to stick around for that and check out those videos when I post them. That's it for today folks Hey, thanks again for watching. I really really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this throwback Thursday Enjoy the rest of your week guys, and we will catch you all soon. This is John Jones Sports Guys signing off We'll see y'all soon O'Connell definitely both going to the penalty box. O'Connell got it for high sticking, Boutet for slashing 
And Lemieux stays out there. Number 66 for the Pittsburgh Penguins. That long reach, but he can't catch up with that puck. Kayleen goes back for Boston. Stolen by Lemieux in front. The shot by Keo, and it is steered away. So they're an example of just one thing that Lemieux can do. The forechecking and the beautiful pass right in front to Keo. Bork is turned around in front. Kayleen walks in, and it's steered away by Heron. Cleared out to the blue line. Bork, the crowd excited, and there is Mario Lemieux, and he is off, racing in all alone. Lemieux, his first shot on goal, and he scores! Mario Lemieux, living up quickly to all the advertisements on his first shot on goal. Walks in on Pete Peters, puts on a deke, leaves Peters out to try, and Mario Lemieux is now the leading scorer in the NHL. Al, he didn't even give me a chance to say that the first goal is the toughest one. Watch Lemieux coming in over that blue line. Just big stride this man has got. He goes with the deep beat, Peters cleanly. A lot of pressure off of this young man right now. Scoring that first one. Going to his backhand with that deep. I imagine he feels real good about that one. Well, he certainly looks at it. it. took him two minutes and 59 seconds in his NHL career to score his first goal. 